Hi everyone, my name is Dee. Welcome to Books and Quirks. Today is another Wednesday, so I thought I'd do another Top 5 Wednesday because I thought this topic was very um, intriguing as well. And that is characters that you would not want to trade places with. So I picked out five, so let's get to it. And as always, I will leave all of the information for the Goodreads group, um, as well as Sam's channel from Thoughts on Tomes, who is the host, in the description below. So the first one is Juliet in The Madman's Daughter. This is also, um, this is a trilogy, and Juliet is the young daughter, I think she's 16, and she is the daughter of a mad scientist. And she is forced to to find him. He's a, sort of escaped to this um, island where he does a lot of experiments on animals and um and people to an extent so he's really quite crazy and you know Juliet goes there to find out about you know her history and her father and things crazy things just happen so I found this book hard to read I really love animals and the you know idea of the experiments was really um, creeping me out um, and disturbing, but um, I would not want to trade places with her throughout the entire trilogy. You know, I won't give spoilers, but the trilogy, I read the whole, the whole thing, and the whole thing is crazy and enjoyable at the same time, but I just, I would not want to be her at all. Um, as much as I enjoy those books, it's just crazy. I read this last October, I think, for around Halloween, um, the entire trilogy, and it was a good sort of October read. The next one that I want to talk about is also one that is a good October read, and I read it also last October, and that is Stella in The Creeping. The main character is Stella. This is a YA psychological thriller, and I haven't heard any booktubers talk about this book, which is really surprising. This is a book that I bought when it first came out. I wasn't I'm looking for it. I just happened to be walking through Barnes and Nobles. I saw it on the shelf and I thought it looked really creepy and disturbing. You know, there's this creepy looking girl with a creepy looking face <laughs> in this tree and it's black and white and it just looks the back. It's just so, so creepy. And um, like I said, it's a YA psychological thriller and it was really quite good. Let me preface this by saying I don't usually guess what happens in the end. I'm very bad at that. I know a lot of people sort of um, already know what's going to happen by the beginning of the book. I did not, I, I will say that I did not see what was coming in this book. Um, I had my suspicions, but I was completely wrong, as I usually am. And, you know, the end just threw me for a loop. And it was such a good psychological thriller. You know, it's um, why psychological thrillers are sometimes, you know, on the lower end of creepiness. <laughs> but I thought this was a very good one and, you know, sort of breached that high end, um, higher end of, of creepiness that I love. And I would not want to take her place at all. So the next character that I would not want to trade places with is Celestine in The Flawed world. Um, Celestine is the main character and you know actually even if it wasn't Celestine I wouldn't want to trade places with anyone in this world because this is a world where if you have um, a, a character flaw you know we're all flawed all humans are flawed and that's the main theme of this book and in this world if you have a character flaw like if you tell a, a lie or if you steal something or if you judge somebody, they don't really even need any evidence to brand you flawed in this world. And you're literally given a brand somewhere on your body um, that shows the world that you are flawed. And you're sort of a second class citizen and you know everyone looks down on you if you are flawed. And and because all humans are flawed, I think that I would fail miserably. You know, I have my flaws like anyone else, and I, I, I cannot keep up the image of perfection in every aspect of life. 
um, if I was forced to, you know, it's, it's just, I wouldn't want to trade places with her at all. So the next book, or the character that I wouldn't want to take the place of, is Mark Watney in The Martian. I loved this book. This was one of the first, like, real sci-fi books that I read. I read it before I even knew that it was going to be a movie, and I loved it so much. So it's about a man, if you didn't know Mark Watney, who gets trapped on Mars during an expedition. Um, the crew thinks that he's dead, so they leave him when they, um, when they leave the planet to go back to Earth. And it's just so good, but so... I, I would be out of my mind scared. Plus, I wouldn't... I'm not a scientist like he, him. I'm not a, um, a botanist. I wouldn't be able to use a botanist, by the way. Um, and I wouldn't be able to survive. You know, he, because he's so smart and he has so much knowledge about, you know, every aspect of science, you know, especially botany, obviously, um, he's able to find ways to survive and find ways to sort of um, even grow things on a planet where nothing grows um, in order to survive enough time so that they can find, so that NASA can find a way to rescue him. So I would be out of my mind scared. I wouldn't be able to survive anything like this. You know, he's isolated for, I think this, you know, the time he's on Mars is, is a long time. It's over a year. Um, so that's, that's just pretty crazy. <laughs> and the last character that I wouldn't want to take place, uh, take the place of number one, that was five, right? This is number five. Um, or I don't know if I'm counting down or counting up. I'm just giving you five books. That is, um, Evie of the Girls. I just recently finished this book, you know, a couple of days ago. So this book mainly focuses on the girls, not necessarily the murders. And all of the names are changed, so instead of Charles Manson, the man in this book, his name is Russell, and Evie, it basically explores the themes of um, acceptance and female friendships, but in this backdrop of this um, drug-induced, sexually charged cult run by this by this man, Charles Manson, and it really goes to show, you know, how, how the girls were, um, how vulnerable the girls were, how he could manipulate them, and how charismatic he seemed to girls that, that yearned for love and acceptance and, and wanting to be part of something bigger. Um, so I thought it was a very good book, but this isn't a book for the faint-hearted. But anyway, I'll do a review another time, but I wouldn't want to take the place of Evie in this book. Um, it's a very lonely and, um, and, and sad existence, I think. So that is all I have. Those are the five characters that I would not want to trade places with. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, everyone.